We're uh, in our 47th quarter of execution, John. And even though we have annual plans, and even though we created very clear multi-scenarios of, of regarding COVID, in other words, is it a V, U, L, how is this going to materialize? We have multiple scenarios built out. That's all great, but we run our business quarterly. We run our business quarterly, not just, and we've been doing that well before we were public. So we sit down at the end of a quarter, we look at of all the financial and operating metrics that we look at, it's about a 65 slide deck that's created by our head of ops, that's phenomenal. And then we look at talent pipeline, and then we make decisions on that day of exactly what we're gonna do for the next 12 weeks in terms of unlocking the right for management to begin to hire into specific roles. And then we release that headcount and we don't think about it again for 12 weeks, unless something catastrophic happened. We don't think about 12 weeks. But then when 12 weeks passes, we sit down again, we look at what happened, how it materialized, renewal rate, growth rate, all the components of the business, sales and marketing efficiencies, gross margin, subscription margin, cash flow. We make a decision, we move. Because my view is, you know, business is all about strategy and execution. Once you nail down your strategy, you want to spend all your time executing. And so we, we orient it that way. So it's hard for me to answer that question around hiring targets for, you know, next year. Of course, we're, we're growing, but the degree at which we're going to be sort of compressing and, and, and pressing wider is, is largely dependent around that quarterly cadence that we have.